Hello everyone, let's do a visit data demo. And today's demo is a bit more complicated than the past and I'm probably not even doing things the right way. So feel free to correct me or make suggestions in the comments. So recently I've been working on the history of advice subreddits and I noted that Ask Women Advice and Ask Men Advice were created near the same time. Ask Women came first, but their activity levels seemed very different and I simply wanted to visualize what that might look like. So I'm going to load in the JSONL database dumps of those subreddits spanning from like 2014 to 2022. And I'm basically interested in looking at the various submissions and when they, uh, when each submission was uh, posted and to kind of a time series plot. So I'm most interested in created UTC. So I'm going to toggle it, and then I'm going to do a uh, global toggle, or GT, to invert everything, and then a GD to delete it. And now I just have the column in I'm interested in. It's UTC, which is not that interesting, and I convert from UTC so often that I have a little function in my data RC file. And so E2 ISO is the name of the function, and it creates something that looks a little bit nicer. And now what I can do is I can do a frequency table. I can restore the sort order. We can see that the first Ask Men Advice post was in October of 2014. And I don't need the percent and I don't need the histogram. And I could just plot, um, I, I could just plot this one. Sorry about that. If I make this a date time and I go back to count and I hit period to plot it, I can kind of see what was happening. If I get rid of that status bar, unfortunately it was hiding uh, 2020 and 2022, but you get a sense of what was happening. So that's Ask Men Advice submissions. But let's go back to now Ask Women Advice and do the same thing. We will find the UTC, we will toggle it, we will do an inverse toggle, we will delete everything that is not that. We will then convert that to a more ISO standard string. I can get rid of that. I can do a frequency analysis. I can restore the sort. I can get rid of percent and histogram. I can make this a date type. I can go back here and plot this relative to the date type. And again, there are those submissions. So what I want to do now is plot both the male Ask Men and Ask Women together. So I'm going to have to do a join. So if I come back and I have these frequencies, if I select them, and then I'm going to do a join where I do a full. So here you can see I have the date. I have Ask Women, and let's just call this uh, AWA count and I have the ask men and let's just call that oops I just type something incorrectly and you can just hit U to back out of it uh, let's call this column AMA count now this is already my key column it's already a number in that it's or it's numerical in that it's a date and that means if I then come over here I can again plot either one of these columns and so that is the ask women that's the ask men if I do G period I get both and the yellowish green is the women and the salmon reddish is the men and indeed you can see that ask women advice is much more active so it seems that one Reddit, maybe there's already too many men opining, uh, but people don't go there to ask men for advice. They uh, seem to appreciate being able to ask women for advice. That's all. I'll see you later.